Welcome to Oshu for You. In this series, we are going to be showcasing some of the many wonderful sites in and around Oshu. I'm Bill Lewis, Chairman, and this is Pearly Indo from the International ILC Support Committee. This series is produced by the City of Oshu in cooperation with our committee and the Oshu International Relations Association. Today, we're going to be showcasing the National Observatory of Japan Mizusawa campus. And the person who's going to help us is Dr. Kamiya. Hello. Uh, Please tell us about yourself. Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Osamu Kamiya. I, I work for uh, this observatory. Uh, I'm a uh, astron radio astronomer, and I uh, study the uh, uh, radio astronomy uh, using some instrument, radio instrument in this observatory. Okay, thank you very much. We look forward to talking to you more today. Yeah, my pleasure. Right. Okay, so Dr. Kamiya, what, yes. what is this room? Ah, uh, this is a uh, uh, RA operation uh, center. Uh, this uh, operates uh, uh, Vera antennas. Four, uh, Vera consists of uh, four antennas. Uh, and you can see the four antenna. Uh, this is the Mizu Yeah, okay. Around the country. Around the, yes. Okay. Uh, control from here for the Mizu Sawa station. Uh, uh, we just, would you like to see? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, move the antenna. Uh, is this, so which antenna is this? The 20 meter antenna? 20 meter antenna. 20 meter yes. antenna. Yes. Okay. Yeah. about to fulfill one of my dreams ever since I came to Mizusawa. I've always wanted to go on top of a 20 meter antenna and I just got permission for it. Let's go. So please, uh, Dr. Kamiya, okay. where are, whoa, <laughs> I'm glad I have a helmet on. Where oh. are we now? Oh, we are now in the uh, antenna. The back side, uh, you can see the, uh, uh, the uh, elevation uh, moving uh, system. Okay. Uh, uh, we will go to the, that uh, cabin, and inside of that cabin, uh, the uh, uh, receiver uh, that is uh, uh, cooled to uh, minus uh, 250 uh, Celsius, Celsius. Minus 250 Celsius. Yes. And the radio signal comes through and it's a focal point. Focal points. Right. The focus. Yeah, focus. Yes. Okay. Then from the core, the radio uh, comes into the receiver. But it's not a machine. Oh, that's okay. We weren't able to go up into the dish because it's, there's something going on. They're doing maintenance and so it's a little bit dangerous. So we couldn't go all the way in, but we got further than I've ever been before. It's been great. I can't wait to come back. So this is the latest addition to the campus, right? This yeah. is the supercomputer. Yes. So what does this do? Oh. Uh, it uh, computes uh, many kind of uh, astronomical uh, uh, calculation. Uh, 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 Compared with the uh, global personal computer, it uh, was about 10,000 times faster. 10,000 times faster? Yes. Wow. <laughs> and uh, astronomical computing, uh, it is the uh, 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 biggest uh, facility in the world. In the world? In the world. Not Japan. Not Japan. In the world. Wow. Astronomical calculations. For astronomical calculations. Okay. And the name of this supercomputer is Matelui. 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 
So, Dr. Kahn, come here. Yeah. Yeah. I see this building right here. Ah. What is this? Uh, that is the uh, Space uh, Astronomy Museum. Okay. Uh, that was uh, used as the uh, main uh, uh, building of uh, our observatory. But now it's used as a museum. So, how old is the building? Oh, it uh, used uh, uh, 1921. Wow. Okay. And when did it turn into the museum? Ah, uh, five years ago. Oh, so very, very new yeah, museum. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. That's it for this edition of Osu for You. Uh, look forward to more, more new episodes in the future. Goodbye. Goodbye.